Reminder, Cambridge Viscosity by PAC always recommends wearing personal safety devices. The following video will show a user how to test a sample with the ViscoLab 3000 and ViscoLab 4000 systems. ViscoLab 3000 ViscoLab 4000 You will need the following supplies to test the sample. Sample Pipette The forceps provided in the accessory kit. Please avoid needle nose pliers that gouge the stainless steel surface of the measurement chamber. A charged canister of clean gas for blowing the sensor out. A solvent. In this video, we are using isopropanol alcohol. Foam tipped swabs. Lint free tissues. These supplies are all included in the ViscoLab accessories kit except for the sample, gas, and solvent. Chapter 1 Setting up the viscometer to test sample. Draw the sample using the pipette. Draw 1 milliliter for the ViscoLab 3000, or draw 1.5 milliliters for the ViscoLab 4000. With the viscometer on, insert the sample into the sensor's measurement chamber. Grab the piston by the nipple with the forceps provided in the accessories kit. Note, for the ViscoLab 4000, you will need to use the magnetic pen provided in the accessories kit. Carefully guide the piston into the measurement chamber with the piston nipple facing up until the piston is fully submerged by the sample. Note, for the ViscoLab 4000, please place the piston into the measurement chamber with the flat end up. Chapter 2. Choose a viscosity range. From the main menu, push the down arrow three times. Press enter on choose range. Use the up and down arrows to select the desired viscosity range that correlates to your piston range. Press enter once the desired range is chosen. Note, for this video, we are using a viscosity range of 25 to 500 centipoise. Chapter 3, Operating the Visco Lab. Push the up arrow three times and press enter on operate. Now press the down arrow three times to select Analyze and Report. This should take a few minutes while the viscometer generates the report. The viscometer will go through the following six steps. Temperature stabilizing. The temperature must be within the designated tolerance of the temperature set point. Default is 0.2 degrees Celsius. Viscosity stabilizing. Wait the specified time for viscosity to settle before taking data. Qualifying temperature. Wait for the temperature and standard deviation to drop below the program set points. Collecting data. The system will collect 20 viscosity data points. Qualifying data. The system will collect 20 more data points and compare to the previous 20 data points. Report data. The data will be displayed on the screen in the optional printer if enabled. The final viscosity and temperature readings will now be displayed on the screen. Chapter 4. Cleaning the sensor. Use forceps to grab the piston by its nipple and slowly pull the piston out of the sensor. Use a Kim wipe or a lint-free tissue to wipe the sample off of the piston. Note: Use solvent to clean the piston. Insert the pipette into the measurement chamber. Squeeze the pipette to remove as much sample as possible. Repeat as necessary. Add a splash of solvent to the measurement chamber to clean the residual sample material. Use foam tip swabs to clean the measurement chamber. Repeat as necessary until the chamber is fairly dry. Blow dry the measurement chamber with compressed air. You have now tested a sample and cleaned the measurement chamber of a ViscoLab system. Please contact the PAC Service Department with any questions.